Okay, we left off. You have the two players moving. Of course you want to start firing at each other. The firing lesson. It's going to have a lot of uh, a lot of good instruction here. Let's start with player one. Let's hop into player one object. And uh, I'm going to use the Q key. Now you may argue with me it's not a good key to use, but A, S, D, W, I'm going to use Q. You choose whatever letter you want. I'm not going to use keyboard. I'm going to use key press. I want the player to have to actually press, 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 press. If you use keyboard, they can just hold the key down and it's going to spam a whole bunch of bullets. So let's do key press. Letter Q. Now the code here is going to be a little bit longer than usual. Okay, It's going to be more than one line. Now this code is actually on a cheat sheet that we've provided in the resource folder for you. So if you actually peek into the resource folder, you should find a file called Cheat Sheet 1. There's a web version and a Word document version. You may want to pop that open. And what it ends up looking like is something like this. And what this is going to do is you're basically going to see this here or something like it. That way, if you fall behind, if you have this printed out open, it actually has a lot of the commands that we'll use over the next few videos all typed out here. So that way you don't have to pause, rewind, you know, just pausing should be good. And you can go and check what the spelling was or what the actual command was. Okay, to create something, there's a nice simple command. I'm just going to type it out and then I'll explain what the command actually does. Bob equals instance create x comma y comma and I want player one to fire object ball one. Now let's explain what this does. This is the command which we'll now call a method because that's what it's really called. This method will create a new object. When you create a new object, you have to tell it where you want it created. We're coding inside of the player object. Every object in GameMaker has an X and a Y position in the room. So when I put X and Y here, I'm actually talking about the player's X and Y position. So it's going to make this ball, object ball, right on top of the player, which is good. Just a little extra here, the instance create method, when you start typing it, notice down here in the window, instance create, and it tells you what it wants to know. It wants to know an X, a Y, and an object. That's exactly what I gave it. I gave it the player's X, the player's Y, and the ball one object. Now, it makes that ball and it's sitting there. Every time GameMaker makes an object in the room, it actually gives it a unique number. And GameMaker remembers it. It's sort of like a student number. If you're a student, you have your very own student number. Um, if you're a human being that works in the country, you probably have a social insurance number. It's unique to you. This ball that was just made has its own very unique number. And what I'm doing here is I'm remembering that number. I've just made this up with the word Bob. I mean, I could have called the ball Tom. I could have called it Billy. I could have called it a really lame name. Okay, as long as you give it a good name, no spaces. I'm basically giving this ball a nickname here. So I'm going to stick with Bob. What this lets me do now is this ball that's just sitting there on top of the player. I can now do this. Hey Bob, the ball I just made, please set your speed to 8. Hey Bob, please set your direction to 0, which is to the right. So this is always going to fire to the right. We'll come back and fix this in a bit. But let's see if this actually works. Here we go. 
So pressing the Q key works nicely. Now, of course, they're going through the walls because we haven't added any code to the ball yet. But it does work. Every time that Q key is hit, an instance is being created at the player's X and Y. Type ball one. And I gave it a little nickname, Bob. This lets me control it. So I can set its speed, its direction, and lots of other things. Now here's something you can set here. If it confuses you, don't worry, it'll make sense a little later. We'll do a lot of this. But usually you want the ball to go in the direction the player's going. You don't know if he's going 0, 90, 180, 270. We don't want to type a number here, but here's what we could type. We can type direction. We're coding inside of the player. The player doesn't just have an X and a Y. The player also has its own speed and its own direction. When you just use the word direction, that's the object you're coding in, the player. That's their direction. And so, hey, Bob, please set your direction to my direction. And so with this little change, you'll see that when I fire, it goes right when I'm moving right, down, whichever way I just moved, that's the way it fires. Not bad. Okay, we'll work on that stuff a lot. You'll find all of that much easier after we use it a bit. Okay, but here's a typical routine for making and moving whatever you made. Now, of course, you know what your job is going to be. Get this working with player two. Thanks for watching. Next video, we'll handle all the collisions so things don't go through things.